It is March 27th, 2017. Now, on Miss Willie's YouTube channel, she is captured on Vietnam. March 16th, 2017, a massive double planetary solar eclipse of our sun that the world will refuses to acknowledge and want to call them just a rare phenomenon. Let's watch this. This thing is now taken up almost the entire sky all the way around. That is a planet. That right there in the center is your fake sun. This is the light refracting from around that planet. And this is the light refracting from the natural sun from behind both of these planets. Two planets, a small one and a big one right in front. Whew. Wow. Or maybe even three planets. It's hard to tell from this video. Let's just keep watching for a couple, a minute. <laughs> so this here is the the natural light coming from refracting around the larger planet with a smaller planet in front of it. Look at that, the entire sky over in Vietnam. The latitude. Well, Vietnam is about the Tropic of Cancer, and it appears that <laughs> that's pretty amazing. They want to call this sun dogs. Yeah, they're solar eclipses. Let's watch another. Let's tell you something else I discovered. A YouTube subscriber had sent me. Now let's watch this. This is over in on a webcam to Mexico. What is that? Well, I believe it's one of the lenses that we have, or it could be a planet. Been out of focus planet. That's what I think it is during the eclipse. Let's play that again. I'm gonna zoom way in on this one. Look at that. Look at the light bending around that thing. I'm still in debate about that. It does seem to be an out of focus planet to me. Part of the lensing action, the lens array that we see. Wow. Do that one more time. Wow. Actually, it must be a planet because the lens array that I watch does not move down in a steady path like we've seen in my other videos. What do I mean the lens array? Was this one of them? Let's take a look. Well, this is what I mean by the lens array. Look how this is a little different as the sun sets. These are, named, these are fixed in space, so that must have been an out-of-focus planet. See these lens, these circular lenses that pull the planets out of focus, hiding what we don't see in outer space. Small ones and big ones. Notice as the sun moves, this does not move with it. And please watch my other videos go in a greater description about this lens array and the fake sun. Here we can see the fake sun going through the lens array. And I want to add that I think this lens array is only near the horizon where they can no longer spray the chemtrails below a certain altitude. So they put these here to help obfuscate the planets. Small ones and big ones. And next. I'd like to show you the black dot that we see in our suns and our cameras. This black dot here is not a camera aberration. Aberration. <laughs> we can see it reflecting on the lake. Okay, 
And when I say you're only going to see this black dot when you're staring down the barrel of the gun, that's this barrel here. You have to, this thing is actually like a shaft. You have to see down the shaft. It'll be, that's where we see it, basically the barrel. You got to look straight through this thing at the right angle. And that's what these lens array does. And with uh, so here's kind of what I believe the sun simulator. We have the real sun, the sun simulator, whether it's powered with mirrors or an LED light. But the lens array, this green layer here, or this would be the chemtrail clouds, and during the rising sun, that this sun would be appear to be relatively small. The chemtrails um, could only be sprayed at a certain altitude, 10,000 feet or whatever they can spray it. The lower they spray it, the bigger the sun gets, and it can hide it, these objects literally in the brightness of the fake sun. Like I show in this video, the light on the ceiling would be the real sun, the flashlight would be the fake sun in a heliosynchronous orbit, always orbiting with the sun. And when they spray the chemtrail clouds at high altitudes, you get a small sun and then a big sun at low altitudes. But however, this does not work at the horizon. That's why I believe the lens array are at the horizon. That's why we always seem to see most of the strangest things during the setting sun and the heaviest chemtrailing at the rising and the setting of the sun. And it also appears that when they do begin the chemtrailing to hide these solar eclipses. So again, in this video, I show you that when the planet get in front of the sun and create a solar eclipse, that's when you're only seeing the fake sun. I'll show you in this video. So you've got the solar eclipse with the flashlight like fake sun between us and the and the planet. Giving us these strange halos like we saw in the Vietnam video. Same thing. Same thing. Check that out. It's basically what we're looking at. It's all smoke and mirrors up there messing with us. Lay down chemtrails at a low altitude, make the sun look big, and hide the objects in the brightness of the fake sun. So want to show you something else in these fake sun videos that when this happens we have the halo here and the magnetic um, the magnetic field of the planet is literally make compressing against the magnetic field of our planet the magnetic field of the other planet would it be at right angles or east to west then the magnetic fields hitting our magnetic fields from south to north would create a vortex like we're seeing here. Now, sometimes the clouds are traveling slowly across the sky, which be more of a circular one. But when the clouds travel faster, it drags. Check this out. So here, the cloud punches through and drags and stretches long because the let me blow this up <clears throat> here we can see the planet touches down and the clouds are dragging here's how you get the drag effect look how the drag actually moves with the wind let's watch that again so here we have a touchdown where it bumps against our planet and then the wind blows and drags while the magnetic pressure stays still it creates these dragging looking sun clouds across the sky. Now many of these meteorologists will tell you that this was near freezing objects that a plane punched through and collapsed the whole system forming this amazing vortex. 
but the problem with that is many times it's supposed to be near freezing. These are happening in the summertime with chemtrail clouds. So there's no ice crystals because it's chemtrail. It's not even water. And look at the magnetic field lines we can see in the cloud system here always. You never see smooth rain clouds during these events. You're always going to see like these magnetic wave ripples following with it. Look at that thing drag. Wow. You want to call them a cloud punch? I like calling them a planet punch because it's bumping against our atmosphere as the cloud drags through and drags across just like it does in many of these events. Here we have this vortex happening here and more of a still day. KCR News, always a natural phenomenon, right? Ice crystals through chemtrails. Mm -hmm. I think this one happened over Russia. You know what I think? I think we're seeing light because the, the magnetic pressure has pushed the clouds completely out of the way, almost revealing, just like we saw in the other one, allowing the light to shine through the clouds. So if you've got amazing cloud punch videos or more of these amazing halos, look at that one. See the ripple effect with this? Always a ripple effect when we see this. And they're going to say a plane went through it. I guarantee you not, no one would dare fly a plane through this magnetic disturbance. <laughs> and there you go. Cam trailing the sun. Yeah, my point. It's a fake sun. Because it would always stay the same size. There's your magnetic wave lines. Yeah, that was an excuse for everything. Look at those magnetic field lines. And when magnetic field lines from north to south meets the magnetic field lines of the outside planet from east to west. So I do believe these are three planets. We have one directly closest to the fake sun. A second one between this one here. And then the biggest planet of all, furthest away, one, two, three, three planets. Well, thank you for watching. Please copy, like, and share this video. See you at the Lord's Supper. Have a great day.